John has just been talking about the two kinds of people. They're the ones who have been born from God, and therefore they've got God's DNA. They become like God. They become holy like Jesus. They don't keep on sinning. And then there are the ones who are of the devil, who sin. He's been sinning from the beginning. No wonder they sin. So he's going to continue with this theme in the next two screens that we're going to put onto one uh, video. Uh, and the theme is also going to shift from sin and not sin to loving and hating. Uh, the primary uh, expression of lawfulness is loving and lawlessness is hating. In fact, even killing, as we will see. So, in this, again, we need to think, what are we going to talk about? Going back or going forward? In this, the children of God are manifest or visible or revealed. It's the same verb as fanerao, except here it's used as an adjective. In this, the children of God are manifest and the children of the devil. And I think that probably this time it looks both backwards and forwards. How can you tell the difference? Well, you check with which one, whether they keep on sinning or not. So he's already said that, but now he's going to say it once more. Now, one anomaly in the text that you may have noticed, look at that verb, in this, the children, plural, are, shouldn't that be asin? Plural subject, you'd expect a plural verb. Mounts mentions this once or twice in passing. We see quite a few examples in the New Testament when you have a neuter plural subject, it's not at all uncommon to have a singular verb instead of a plural verb. Uh, Mounts claims that that's because it's being viewed more like a collective. I have my doubts about that. I think it's possible that the, the, the habit of doing it developed somewhere in the past because some people were doing that. They were treating it as collectives. But once the habit developed, it just stuck as a grammatical possibility, and I don't think that that's what we should read into the texts that do it, uh, now that it's one of the ways of writing Greek. So, translated in English as our, as our, even though in Greek it looks like it says is. So, in this, the children of God and the children of the devil are revealed, namely in this. Everyone not doing. So here again, we have this ha plus a participle, substantival participle, pas in front, everyone doing, except this time there's also a negator. And in front of the participle, you need may. Everyone not doing righteousness, not is out of God. So if you're not doing righteousness, you're not from God. That's how you can tell who's from God and who's from the devil. And now he's going to change, well, not necessarily change, but he's going to more clearly say what this righteousness actually is. And the one not loving, so exactly the same expression, ha, participle with nay, and the one not loving his brother. So it's not as though there's two kinds of people that aren't from God. Number one, the unrighteous, and number two, the unloving. That's really the same thing. What is unrighteousness? To be unrighteous is not to follow the greatest of all the commandments, in particular, alongside, of course, many others. Uh, so especially if you don't love your brother. Uh, maybe this one's most particularly in this case. Because haute estin he angelia. Angelia is the word for message. We have quite a few words related to that. Angelos is a messenger. Uh, euangelia is the good news. Uh, there's words for to be a messenger. Parangelo, I think. Angelo mine. Anyway, and this is the message which with message in gender and number, but not in case, because it's the object of this verb. This is the message which you heard from the beginning. Namely, what is the message? That. So, hina means that, or in order that. In this case, since it's 
This is the message, namely, the message is that we should love one another. Okay, so what kind of a subjunctive is that? Uh, it's a subjunctive, uh, it's not called a purpose subjunctive, the inhina means that. I think it's technically called a content subjunctive, but it's good enough to know that hina always takes the subjunctive. That we love one another. So if this is the primary message that we've heard right from the beginning, then clearly he's connecting it to the, what he said way back when, when he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a new command, but it's actually the old command all over again. Uh, right from the beginning, the command has been love one another. Now we get the negative example first. Not as, so who is this person? We read it as Cain. If you read it carefully, it's actually got two syllables, Cain. That's what the two dots are doing. They're saying this is not a diphthong in this particular word. But we say Cain because that's how we say it in English. Uh, in Greek, you wouldn't. Not as Cain. And now we have to assume something like who was. It's, it's called an ellipsis when you leave out some words that are pretty clearly implied. Not like Cain from the evil one. Or maybe actually just the word who is missing because you have the word was here. Not as Cain was from the evil one. Not as Cain who was from the evil one. And what did he do? He did this to his brother. Esvaxen. Uh, it's not a very well-known name, but it's the name he murdered or he slaughtered, actually. He cut up. Uh, he slew his brother, is what the King James uh, used to say. So, the command is to love, therefore not doing what Cain did, because ultimately that's the way of, of murder and death. And, now let's be real careful with the word. Normally, we would read this word as charis in the accusative becomes charin. It's actually a third declension noun, but it has an irregular accusative singular. If you remember when we learned third declension forms, this was one of the examples of a, another form. Looks the same, but it's not the same. This is, in this case, a preposition, meaning on account of. and it takes the genitive. So it's the same actually as dia plus accusative. Dia plus the accusative means on account of. Charin plus the genitive uh, also uh, means on account of. And on account of this, or said otherwise, and this is why. On account of this, he slaughtered him. Actually, it's a question, sorry. No, this, this word doesn't mean this, it means on account of what? That's what the accent is doing here. It's not the word tutos or tuton, uh, tutu. On account of what? So this is, this is a question. And, and why did he kill his brother? And on account of what he killed him? Question mark, answer because his works were evil, ponero. So this is plural again, neuter plural, his works, and again we have a singular verb. We would have expected a son, they were, it's the word for he, she, or it, is, Singular verb going along with a neuter plural subject. Because his words, because his works were evil, but the, sorry, the works of the brother of him were righteous. So there's a couple of words left out that are implied because his works were evil, 
those of his brother righteous. We would do the same thing in English. We would leave out the verb, but his brother is righteous. You can use the verb, but you don't need it. So implying the same noun, implying the same verb. Next screen. And don't be amazed. Don't marvel. Uh, this is a, error, a present imperative with a may. It's a pro prohibition. Don't marvel, brothers. He's called them beloved. He's called them children. Now he calls them brothers and sisters. Don't be amazed, brothers, if the world hates you. This is really a first class condition doesn't have the on in the second part. So you could imagine the author saying, don't, don't be amazed that the world hates you. If, it, if the world hates you, which it does. So he's assuming the truth of the, the protasis. Don't be amazed, brothers, if, if the world hates you. We know that, this is the word, we have passed. Over. I'll look at it in a minute with you. Passed over out of death into life because, this is how we know, we know because we love the brothers. This is the evidence to us and to each other that we have passed from death to life. He hasn't really used these categories, death and life, before except for killing and not killing, but uh, he's going to keep using them some more. Uh, the form of this is the same as if it would be a subjunctive because of the, the uh, agapao, the alpha contracting, but this is actually an indicative this time after hati. So what's this word? Uh, so in Greek we have the word anabino, which means to go up, katabino, which means to go down, and then metabino, less common, which means to go by, or to go past, or to transfer over. So going up, going down, going by. Bino really means to go, except it never shows up all by itself in the New Testament. It's always connected with some uh, preposition. So this is the word metabino. Uh, it's a perfect. The stem changes for the perfect a little bit. Uh, there's the reduplication. There's the K-A. So we have crossed over from death to life, but because it's a perfect, the focus is on our present condition. So we are now living on the life side and no longer on the death side of this, these two compartments. And how do we know? Because we love each other. The not loving remains in death. So the assumption is we all start out in death and then we get transferred over into life. And how do we know we've made the transfer? Because we love each other. If we don't, well, we're still on the death side. Now again, John knows that we don't do it perfectly. So it's not as though he wants us to imagine that we're all 27% you know, of the way from death to life or 83% of the way from death to life and we never really quite get there. Even though he says, if you're here, you are in death and you kill like Cain. If you're here, you're in life and you love each other. The reality is that's the ideal to which we aspire and towards which we move. Everyone hating, so we get the two contrasts. Everyone not loving remains in death. Everyone hating the brother, his brother, is this. If you hate your brother, you are an anthropoktonos. See the word person, human, anthropos, and ktonos comes from, well, what's the word for to kill? Apokteno. So this actually is a murderer, a, a man killer, a person killer. Everyone who hates his brother it's as if you were killing him. Uh, it really, these are the words of Jesus. Uh, you have heard that it was said, do not commit murder, but I say don't even hate or be angry with your brother in your heart. Uh, so John is making the same point here. If you're going to hate your brother, it's, it's just as if you're murdering them the way Cain did to his brother. And 
And you know that every murderer, pus anthropoctonos, doesn't have eternal life in him. And then we get this participle. Doesn't have eternal life remaining in him. This is from meno, to remain. Remember the participle boxes, lu on, lu usa, lu on. So this is the menusa, feminine participle, present active participle, and it agrees with zoe. That's why we have a feminine, that's why we have a accusative ending. So it's eternal life remaining, an eternal life that remains. So I think we have to view this as two different attributive adjectives. It doesn't have uh, the article in front. If it did, if it had it with the noun, it would have it with this adjective, and it would have it also with this adjective. But because it doesn't have it here, it can't have it for either of these either. Oops, the light just went off. Hopefully it stays on now. Uh, that finishes to verse 15, and we'll see you in a minute for verse 16.